Monday.com just released Monday MCP. What that means is it essentially connects Monday.com to your AI agent, like Cursor or Claude. But really, what you can do is you can actually do things within Claude that can affect Monday. So for example, I can build out boards, I can add items, I can build out new columns, I can ask it to analyze my boards and do things that automations can do. In this video, I'm going to share with you some examples of how I'm using the Monday MCP for my social media strategy to help build out different posts that I can use. So let, let's jump in and I'll show you some of the different things that the Monday MCP can do. Hi, my name is Tara and I'm a certified Monday.com partner and the founder of Simple Day. My goal is to help you build powerful yet simple workflows with Monday.com. If you need help with a custom implementation, my contact details are in the description below. Let's jump into today's tutorial and make Monday the best part of your week. In this video, I'm going to share with you some ideas about how you can use one of Monday.com's newest feature called Monday MCP. What Monday MCP is basically a tool that allows you to connect Monday.com to your AI agents. In this case, I'm connecting to Claude, as you can see on one side of my screen. There are a number of different agents that you can currently connect to. And I'm sure as this continues to grow and expand, you'll be able to connect to other agents. So I want to use this example to show you some really, really cool things that you can do with this new Monday MCP. I built out here a pretty straightforward board for social media. You can see here that I have an ideas group with some concepts that we potentially would want to use to create social media posts. So here you can see I have the basic idea, the status, the published date. Here's more detailed content. Here are some ideas about the creative that we want to use. And here's the place that we are going to actually post it on. Before I show you the really cool things that we can do when we connected through this Monday MCP, I'd love to hear if you tried this new feature. Comment below. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to Claude now and I'm going to paste my prompt. And I'm basically saying like, I have this social media ideas board. I want you to read it see the ideas that I have here and add two more things. I do need to add a the URL or the board identification. That's this number. And you can get it up in the URL of your board. And I'm telling it, this is what I want it to be about. So once I'm going to hit this arrow, let's see what happens. First, Claude needs a minute to think. And you can see it's like processing. It's looking at the board schema and it's telling me the steps as it goes. So we're just going to give this a minute to load and see what it comes up with. So here it's telling me that it saw current ideas. By the way, I should say that we currently have 12 ideas on this board. And now you can see one was just added. Okay. And while the other ones are being added, we'll just see what it did. So here you can see that it has the item. It clicked it as not started. It actually put in a publish date for me. Um, the content of the type, the creative idea, the creative ideas for the image and LinkedIn. So you can see that it understood what these columns were about. Like it went through and read all of these columns and understood what's it about, which is pretty cool, right? Like I was talking to Claude and then it did that in Monday. I don't know. I, th I think it's awesome. Now that I look at this board, this is a pretty basic board. So I want to show you something else that you can do within Claude. So I'm going to go back to Claude and paste my prompt. And I'm saying, do you have any ideas of other columns that I can add to this board? So let's see what happens when I click the prompt. So just so you know, here you can see our last column is the social media column. And here it's telling me it's happy to optimize my boards. Here are some things that I should think about. So let's see what it actually does. It gives me a whole bunch of ideas. And then it says, would you like me to help? add any of these columns? And I will say yes. Now, if you would have changed the prompt to say, like, just add these columns, it would have automatically done it without me having to prompt it. Um, but that's just about how you write your prompt. So let's see what's happening. And if you go over here, you can see some columns are starting to be added to my board. So we have this new engagement rate, reach impressions. Those both look like number columns. Approval stage. So I guess it didn't, um, here you can see like it 
didn't read this status one. So obviously you probably need to be a little more careful with this prompt. Um, what else did it do? Content type. That's pretty cool. Who the reviewer is, reviewer deadline, different campaign types, different asset links, hashtag target audiences. Now, as I look at these new columns, I'm like, you know, hashtags is a really great idea. I should include that in my social media posts. So I'm going to go back to Claude and paste another prompt, asking Claude to fill in all of the hashtags of the items that are already existing on this board. So let's see what it's going to do. As you can see, it's just running the query. And here you can see that it is starting to fill in the different hashtags for each item. So here, like this one, for example, is about a Monday motivation post. And you can see that the hashtag is Monday motivation, teamwork, goals, like something that's relevant. That's pretty cool, right? Here. So you can see here that Claude filled in all of the information in the column hashtag. So just to summarize, it added ideas for me. It added new columns that it thought I would need. It added content, obviously, and then it added the hashtags, which are pretty relevant. So it's pretty cool what it can do. Now, I want to start a, another chat here. I'm going to ask Claude for some help cleaning on my board. As you can see, I never set up an automation here that says when something is published, move it to the published post group. Okay. And you can see that this board is kind of a mess. So I'm going to see if Claude can help us. So I'm going to add in my prompts. Now you do need to be careful in your prompts because you need to sometimes, like if you have two status columns, you need to say which status column or which label. Obviously you need to mention your board as you, as I said. So I'm going to put in this prompt saying if anything's marked as published in the status column, please move it to the publish group and let's see what's happened. Here it's telling me that it sees the group called published posts. And you can see that it actually moved my two different posts to the published group. And here it's telling me on in the Claude chat, it's telling me exactly what it did. And now my board is a little cleaner than it was before. In summary, what we did is we used the MCP to help build out the board. It added columns for us. It gave us suggestions as better columns. It added content. It recommended content like hashtags and different things. And it even gave better ideas for, let's say, my status column where I just had a status column and it said that you should have an approval status column with different ideas. And it was able to perform actions that you can normally use automations for, like reviewing my whole board, finding what is published and moving it to the publish group. So this is great because I was working on an existing board. Now, I want to take Claude to the next level and show you how it can actually build a board for you that does something very similar. So I'm going to jump over to Claude and I'm going to add in my prompt and I'm asking it to create a board in my Monday workspace. You do need to add the workspace um, because you want it to publish to create the board in, in the workspace that you want. Additionally, I only added the MCP to one specific work workspace. And you can see that I tell it what I want it to do. I need social media ideas for my company. I need to know the basic idea of the post, the published date, the actual content, and which channel I should use. And I'm saying that these posts should be using different channels. My channels are Facebook, LinkedIn, and YouTube. And then also add a column for suggestions. So I'm telling it exactly what I want. And I can say you can limit to two posts a week for the month of August. And I'm giving it a focus. I want these posts to be about how Monday.com can make someone's workflow more efficient. So let's click this and see what happens. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to, you can see here are all my demo boards. And it's going to show up all the way at the bottom. So I'm going to just scroll to the bottom. And actually, this is the board that is being created. So you can see it's starting. Let's just watch it and see what happens. So here it's called August Social August Social Media Content Calendar. You can see that it's building out the board. Now that it built out the structure of the board, now it's telling me, let me create some social media posts for you. And you can see that it's starting to create social media posts. Here's the first one. It gives me a publish date. Here's the second one. Now, I just want to say a point about using this MCP for social media ideas, and I guess it's about AI in general. Obviously, this is great. This probably saves me a lot of time, but 
like any AI agent that you're using, you do need to check to make sure that either when you're building a board that it's the setup that you want or the content that it's giving you is actually good content that you want to use for your posts. And a lot of that does really depend on the prompts. So I definitely suggest taking the time to make sure that you have good prompts to do exactly what you want to do. I hope that this video sparked your imagination and just gave you some ideas so you can start to see what you can do with the MCP. The ideas are endless. It's all up to you. What can you do with this? How far can you take it? And I'm sure it will make a significant difference with your workflow. If you need help getting started setting up the Monday MCP, there's a link below so you can get in touch with me and we'd be happy to help you. I also would love to hear about the ways that you're using the MCP. Comment below and let me know. I look forward to reading it. Hit the like button if you enjoy this video and remember to subscribe to receive tips and tricks on how to use monday.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.